The Beats Studio Buds are the newest addition to the truly wireless market from Beats and Apple. They have been completely redesigned compared to the PowerBeats Pro and now feature ANC and transparency modes. Full disclosure here, I pay the full retail price of $179.99 Canadian or $149.99 US. Now the question here is, are they any good? Let's check it out. So as I mentioned, the Beat Studio Buds have been completely redesigned. They are significantly smaller than their predecessor. Looking at the case, it is made up of matte plastic which can be slippery to some. The front of the case features the Beats logo and a single LED indicator light. On the bottom, we see that USB-C port for charging. Unfortunately, there is no wireless charging included. There is a bit of weight behind the case, so it does give it a premium feel. Overall, the case feels solid. Switching over to the buds themselves, these things are tiny. They feature a knob-like design which remind me of the knobs on the kitchen stove. They're easy to grip, adjust in your ear, or to take in and out of the case. I'm happy to report that physical buttons are present here and they are very responsive and easy to press. The buds themselves are IPX4 rated which means they can withstand light splashes of water. In our water tests, they continue working with no problem. When it comes to fit and feel, I'm happy to say that these are very comfortable. They're small enough where they don't stick out past my ears and they are very light. After extended use, I did not experience any pain or discomfort. I will say that I did notice a little bit of pressure when I had them in my ear, but it's not a big deal, but I thought it was worth mentioning. I never had any issues with these falling out of my ears with casual wear. Even with the shake test, they did not budge. Everything was going well up until I decided to start doing more intense activities like running, and I noticed that the right earbuds needed to be pushed in more often than not. Battery life on these is rated for up to 8 hours of playback without ANC and 5 hours with ANC turned on. I tested both scenarios by listening to music at 50% volume and I was able to get 7 hours with ANC turned off and 4 hours and 8 minutes with ANC turned on, which is pretty good. Speaking of ANC, it's not top notch like the Bose QC earbuds or like Apple's own AirPods Pro, but they did well enough to be able to get the job done. Higher frequency noises like a fan or the humming of an air conditioner were significantly reduced. I did notice though that when I was running my tests, I had the Euros playing in the background and the voice of the commentator was able to break through no problem. Again, just another thing to mention. Transparency mode also works well. Although I did find this to be a bit on the quieter end, noises coming in did sound a little bit processed. They don't sound as natural as, say, the AirPods Pro or even the Jabber Elite 75Ts, which are around the same price. But with that being said, I was able to be aware of my surroundings and maintain conversations while I had music playing at around 35 to 40%. Now the big question, how do they sound? I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, and I thought these sounded just okay. I was expecting a lot more, especially with these being a Beats product. Mids were definitely the highlight over here. Instruments and voices were pushed forward and sounded clear. Audio separation and direction were also great. Highs, are very subtle and can get lost in the music. I found that you really needed to look for them in order to be able to notice them. And bass? Bass is probably where I was the most disappointed. It's present, but only as a light tap. I listen to bass heavy songs like Starboy by The Weeknd or Bravado by Lord, for example, and the bass just didn't have the impact that you would expect from Beats products. It just feels very dialed back, and that's the thing with the whole sound signature here. Everything about these feels like Apple and Beats are just trying to play it safe to satisfy everyone. Now, it kind of reminds me of the AirPods Pro. But, like I said, they sounded okay, but it wasn't enough to get my head nodding to the music. But, 
and this is a big but. I played around with the equalizer, or in the iPhone's case, the sound profiles within the music app setting, and I switched it over to classical. And let me tell you guys, what a night and day difference. Bass was boomy and it had that rumbling presence that it was missing, and highs were a lot more noticeable. Music was just far more enjoyable to listen to. So if you're planning on getting the Studio Buds, whether you're on iPhone or on Android, I would highly recommend either playing around with your phone's onboard equalizer or um, switching around the sound settings to make these sound as best as they possibly can. As I mentioned earlier, physical buttons are present here for the controls. Controls are very easy to follow and both buds do the exact same. A single press is to play or pause your music, double press is to skip forward a song, triple press is to go back a track, and a long press, which is customizable, can switch between ANC and transparency modes or access your voice assistant. The downside here is there is no volume control. And since both buds do the exact same, you're able to use either earbud independently. Overall, the Beats Studio Buds are good earbuds. They come with all the features that you need at a mid-range price point. They're comfortable, they look great, have good battery life, ANC and transparency modes work well, and with some adjusting, they can sound really good. So if you're in the market for a new pair of truly wireless earbuds, you should definitely consider these. But that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and slap that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment box down below. If you want to see more tech videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And with that being said, I'll catch you on the next video.